Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and I wanted to show you some really cool tricks on how to do some excellent live streams on your PlayStation 4. I will have a lot of cool things to show you, uh, like what kind of mic setups you can use, uh, things to adjust your PlayStation camera, and also how I do a much requested feature, uh, which is how to get the people to chat to you and hear it on the live stream. So I'm going to show you all those cool features and more. So stay tuned. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my PlayStation 4 all set and ready to play some Mighty Number no. Deuce. <laughs> uh, as in taking a deuce, right? No, but actually I kind of like Mighty Number no. 9. But off topic here, I want to show you a couple of different ways you can record uh, using you know, PlayStation 4, this is what I personally use right here. This is a Blue Yeti Blackout Edition microphone. It's a very nice microphone. And you can definitely get some excellent quality out of this. It's got a lot of different features you can use. You get a built-in mute button. All kinds of great stuff. And this is inexpensive for prosumer purposes. It's 120 bucks. If you're just a casual and you don't really want to spend that kind of money, though, there are a couple other things to consider. So first of all, there is the PlayStation camera, which is actually really nice to have if you want to do live stream because it gives you that live stream feed. And unfortunately, the PS4 only supports this for video, and the quality is not the best, but this is pretty much essential if you want to do some regular live streaming. And that's about $60 new. I actually got mine for only 30 bucks during Black Friday, so maybe look around for a deal. You could probably get one for 30 to 40 bucks. And then last but not least, well, actually, it is at least, but still not too bad. Uh, actually, it's better the camera, better mic than the uh, PlayStation camera, but this is the Konami mic that we got whenever I bought my wife a copy of The Voice for PS3. This came with it. Got it for like five bucks during an Amazon sale. I think it was during Prime Day or something like that. And this is actually not a bad mic, as we're going to hear. So I'm going to show you guys the difference between all of these. Okay, so this is me playing Mighty Number no. 9, and I'm currently using the Yeti microphone uh, set to a pretty high gain right now. So this is at a high gain. You might hear a little bit of background noise and things like that, but this is kind of the audio experience you can expect uh, using the Yeti as a microphone. And so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what that was about. So... Now we're going to do a low gain Yeti, and you'll be able to hear the difference. And now you guys are hearing the Yeti at a low gain. So this is if you get really close to the microphone, just a couple of inches or less away, the kind of audio experience you can expect while doing the stream. And game over for me, right? So this is the Yeti at a low gain. And now this is the audio that you can expect with the PlayStation camera while you're live streaming. As you might hear, it's not quite as good, and that's part of the reason why I disabled the PlayStation camera, but it's still not too bad. And, you know, if you don't want to have a mic or anything hooked up, it's really not that bad of an option, you know? You just, just realize that the audio quality is not going to be the best with it, but it really is not too bad, as you can tell here, you know? I mean, you can still clearly hear me, um, it's just not as, you know, clear audio. It's not as fulfilling. Uh, but this is the kind of experience you can expect with the PlayStation camera. Okay, now this is the microphone that we used from our music game. This is the one we got from The Voice for PS3. Uh, that Konami USB mic. And uh, it's actually not too bad. Um, obviously, it's still not the best, but... Hey, if you got one laying around the house, it can really be an excellent solution to your problems here. The only thing to keep in mind, obviously, is it's not easy to hold a mic while recording. So you might want to look into uh, getting a mic stand or making maybe making your own makeshift stand uh, using a tissue box or something like that. You know, something that's kind of ghetto but will do the job. So this is the audio experience you can expect using this kind of microphone. Okay, so you guys are probably wondering, hey, what if I'm playing a game where you can't adjust the audio and it's ridiculously loud, like Mega Man Legacy Collection? It is ridiculously loud and there's no in-game way to adjust the audio, and that really sucks. But I'm going to show you some cool ways to fix that issue.
So what you can do is you can go to the PlayStation menu. There's a couple different ways to solve this problem. This is my personal favor here. Go to Party, and then go ahead and Create Party. Uh, obviously, name the party. If you don't want anybody randomly joining in, you can set it to private so people won't just hop on the stream unexpected and unwanted. Uh, although you guys are always cool to do that if I don't have it set to private, obviously. Uh, and then uh, create party. Okay, and so it's going to create the party now. And once you do that, it'll ask you if you want to invite people. You just hit circle to go back. And then what you can do here is you go to party settings. And then you'll want to do a couple different things here. Uh, oh, and by the way, if you ever want to join someone else's live streams, make sure to set this to always allow so people can hear you. <laughs> uh, but anyways, go to uh, chat audio and then select prioritize party chat right there. Okay, and then for audio mix, uh, you can manually adjust this as needed. So we're going to go ahead and lower that just a little bit, lower it down to there to increase it to party audio. You want that to be high so that the game audio won't be as loud. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the game now. Okay, and now you can hear clearly that the game audio has reduced a pretty good bit. So you can definitely hear me a lot better. There is one other way you can adjust the audio, of course, though, and that's, of course, in the audio settings for the PlayStation itself. And I'm going to show you that right now. We're going to go ahead and go to the audio settings now. You go to settings. And then you'll go down to devices. And then you can go to audio devices. And then, of course, you'll see where you have the option to adjust your microphone level. And you can see right now, I've got some microphone stuff going on right now. I'm currently using the Yeti with the high gain. I can turn the micro level up. And I can talk a lot quieter. And it still picks it up really good on the microphone. Or I can set it really low. And I really have to talk loud, but the microphone should still pick it up just fine. Um, you can set it wherever you like. I liked having it about the middle setting uh, with how loud I typically talk on my live stream. So you can hear me loud and clear. It doesn't blow it out or anything like that unless I just yell or something like that. And uh, I think this is a good setting, but adjust as needed, guys. All right, so I'm glad we were able to help you guys with the audio tips. If you do want a specific tip about the Yeti microphone, though, something to keep in mind, if you decide to do a mic like that or a similar mic, you'll want to skip ahead a bit. I will put a timestamp right down there on where you should skip to if you want to see that. So now we're going to go into the PlayStation camera. We're going to talk about that now. All right, guys. So this is the PlayStation camera. This is the camera... As it is currently set up, I'm actually in the Playroom app so that I can kind of, you know, show you guys full video of the camera. You can see it in all of its uh, blurry and noisy quality. Um, it's actually not too bad in the Playroom app compared to the live streams, but I did want to outline some things that help a lot. So I want to just show you a couple of things here. Just bear with me. So first off, lighting is very important in order to have excellent video quality. You may notice that the lighting was better previously than it is now. You definitely see that the noise is a lot more prevalent here, and that is a problem. That definitely is a problem. So if you are doing it during the daytime and you have some blinds, it is definitely important to open those blinds up, let the light in so that it can, you know, bathe you with glorious sunlight, but also it makes your video look better. I'm going to go ahead and open up the blinds and I'm going to show you, I'm going to open up a maximum I can, I'm going to show you what it looks like in comparison. As you can see, it's much brighter in here, a lot less noise. It looks a lot better on camera and that's very important. Now what if you're streaming at nighttime? Well let's go ahead and close the blinds again and I'll simulate that a bit. Okay, so one thing you could do obviously is turn on any overhead lights like lamps and such. Still doesn't look very good compared to the outside, but there are some ways you can actually give a very good and bright look to it without that. And that's with more direct lighting sources. So now I'm going to set up a couple of these bad boys right here. This is a US, or not USB, <laughs> 
This is a LED lamp that I got from Walmart. They're 15 bucks a piece and they put off some really great light. You do not need to invest in expensive light boxes that are $200 or more to get some excellent lighting for your video. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. So this is the same setup as before, except I added a couple of these LED lamps, placed them in different sources of the room in order to allow for more light to come in. So as you can see, there's not as much noise. I mean, there's still a little noise over here, but that's because the light isn't really hitting that area. That's the main thing to keep in mind. When you get that video noise, you're going to have that happen. You'll see there's a couple glares, obviously. Those are from the light sources. I mean, you can do some other stuff to make those glares not as apparent, make those lights not as bright. These lights are actually really bright. And if I look directly into them, it's like you get the sunspots going on. So. But you know what, if you want excellent looking video quality and it's not daytime, this is a way to do it. But you know, as long as you have some good overhead bulbs, you know, if you just wanted to do overhead lighting, make sure to get bulbs that are high lumen that have natural bright white light. You don't want the soft light stuff because that's gonna look like crap. It might look fine in person, but on video, it's gonna look all yellowish and things like that. That's why you have that problem. So. Definitely invest in some good daylight or natural white light bulbs if you want the best possible video quality. So we've got the PlayStation camera hooked up, but let's do some configuration now. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the PlayStation screen. And we are going to go to settings there. And after that, you'll want to go, of course, to devices. So we're going there right now. And then you'll want to go to PlayStation camera. Uh, you'll have an option here that says adjust PlayStation camera. Hit OK. Obviously, you'll see this here. It'll ask you to uh, go into this here, view, so we can, uh, you know, move on. All right. And then this is for, like, face tracking and things like that, obviously. So look at it. Hit the button. So it's going to take them snapshots. OK. It says it's adjusted. So make sure to do that. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to our game. Uh, now you'll want to go into your share settings, obviously, and go to broadcast gameplay. Okay, and so now we are live streaming, as you can see right here, some mighty number nine. If you want to adjust some st other stuff, you can go ahead and go back to the share settings. Go back to broadcast settings again. Okay, you'll want to go to advanced settings. It's having a hard time focusing because of the lighting here. Then you've got camera video settings. So you want to go there. Uh, here, as you can see, a preview of what we've got right there. And you can do the fine face, of course, to make sure it goes into it there. Uh, you can change the size. Um, it says you can't do it while spectator comments are done here. So if you want to be able to adjust more on it there, just go ahead and disable that. Go back there. So now you can adjust the size. Of, see, there it is right there. Medium is the default. You can set it to widescreen to give it a you know full widescreen appearance, um, or small or large or whatever. Um, it's automatically cropped unless you use widescreen, then it'll use the full video. This is where you can adjust where the video clip is going to be. Unfortunately, you can't change it pixel by pixel. It'll just change it to different positions. So like we move it to upper left, see, it'll just automatically set it to that spot. Uh, then you have background which if you wanted to do a cutout type thing, you can do that. And that way you just need to get in the spot. So, you know, it doesn't take up the full video. You just have like a little thing uh, right there. Um, so that's even cool. And you even have chroma key options. So if you have a green screen or whatever, you can utilize that. And uh, of course you can obviously adjust that as needed. Um, and of course you can also add an effect. Like if you want to do a comic book look, which I look completely ugly there. <laughs> Or, um, you know what, scan lines. Scan lines look really cool, right? And then also toy camera, pixelate. And then, of course, you can adjust your brightness and contrast and all that good stuff. Uh, I also recommend doing some transparency so you don't completely block the game screen. Um, so that's all good stuff to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and go back to the uh, live stream and see what it looks like. So we've got the scan line video here. And uh, here we are streaming some Mighty Number no. Nine. Everything looks pretty good. Um, cameras, you know, got, we got the good lighting set up. We've adjusted the settings. You know what? We're ready to do a stream. So 
I'm glad that helped, of course. Um, now I'm going to show on this last part of the video some oft-requested features, because I know you guys are really interested in uh, seeing something really special here. Now at the camera, you can see me streaming away here. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to uh, Share, of course. We're going to hold that in. We want to go to Broadcast Settings. This is where I'm going to show you how people can hear you in the stream. Because um, normally, by default, you're going to have this on so that you can see what people are saying. And so we're going to go ahead and do that, of course. Uh, there's Power Metal Gamer right there. He actually said, Woo! <laughs> So uh, there he is, yep, uh, playing some Mighty Number no. 9, uh, even though I've got the same stuff that I had from last night when I streamed Dark Cloud. Uh, but anyways, um, you can go ahead and chat away, Power Metal Gamer. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and, you know, obviously we want to hear Power Metal Gamer, right? So we're going to do something real quick here. So we're going to go ahead and hold the button down, go to Broadcast Settings. And then we are going to go ahead and go back to the advanced settings that we were at before. We want to disable this. Okay. So, um, we're going to go ahead and go back. Now, Tag, go ahead and say something to the people that are watching right You're now. inside this game yet, dude? <laughs> See, there it is. Um, people on the stream are going to be able to hear that just fine. How did I do that, you may ask? Well, I'm going to show you. So we're going to go ahead and go back to the share settings, broadcast settings. Uh, go back to advanced settings again. And you see this option right here it says comments to speech. Obviously, you can enable that so that if you want a full screen experience, but you still want to see what people are saying or rather hear what they're saying, you'll enable that. Uh, then you can do speed, standard, slow. So you can see that. You can also adjust the pitch of the woman. All right, and you can also adjust the volume of that text-to-speech so that it doesn't overpower you or be underpowered or things like that. Adjust it as you need, obviously. Okay, and so we're back to the stream. Are you still with us, um, Power Metal? How the volume. Okay, so yeah, he's still with us. Okay, we got it now. So, um, there, oh, four people are watching. This is just a test little shindig that I was just doing for fun. But, uh, <laughs> um, okay, so the question then remains, um, what yes. else can you do with this? So let's go ahead and go back to it here. Now, I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead as to why this works. All right, so I'm back. Uh... Yeah, so go ahead and say something Delta else, guys. Gray scan leans going for the live cam. Yeah, yeah, the PlayStation cam. Say hi. Okay, so I plugged my, uh, you know, headset into this right here, this uh, controller. Uh, normally, I have it plugged into the back of this monitor that I use to game, and that's how I typically get it to come up in the stream. Will you do more podcasts with Mega Six One? Mega six one. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know you're talking about. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, that's what we've got here. I just wanted to kind of show on this how I do that oft requested feature. And now the last bit I'm going to do is the whole Yeti. Don like Phoenix has a floppy donkey cock. Ha! <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and skip on over. Okay. Now I wanted to demonstrate something with you guys. If you decide to use a Yeti, there is a particular problem you're going to notice. Now, I use headphones plugged into my monitor to listen to my game audio. Here's what happens when I plug in the Yeti microphone, guys, as you're about to hear. Notice something? Notice how there's no audio anymore, and we've got a microphone plugged in. Microphone is switched to the USB headset. Here's how you can fix that. You can go back, go to your settings, right there. Uh, then go down to devices. Click that. Go to audio devices. And then where it says output device, it changed the Yeti automatically into it. 
there's a couple of different solutions. You can either do this and turn it back to TV or AV amplifier, and you'll probably slightly hear the PlayStation sound, and you can go back to Mega Man. Okay, but there is another way to do it as well. You don't have to change the setting every time, because the Yeti actually has a built-in headphone port, which is typically used for monitoring the audio, but it can also be used as an audio pass-through. So I hope with this video, I've showed you guys everything you need to do some kick-ass live streams. But there is one last important thing, and the most important thing, is to just be a kick-ass person. Be respectful to the people that are spectating, chat up with them, have a conversation. You know, just be a cool person. And also make sure to let your personality bring out. Don't try to do something that you're not. Don't try to be a PewDiePie or Markiplier if that's not your personality. You know, be yourself. If you're a shy person and you don't really talk that much, that's fine, you know. Just keep that limitation in mind when you're playing these kinds of games online. Uh, try to open yourself up like, like you would talk to a friend or a family member. Um, or someone that's sitting right next to you on the couch, try to have that kind of personality. You know, be yourself, but open up a bit. You know, that's the most important thing when you're doing a live stream. And if you're getting frustrated at the game, or if you're frustrated at life or something like that, maybe it's not a good idea to stream. You know, unless, I don't know, unless you could just feel that it's going to help. So hopefully you guys enjoy this advice and take it to heart and, Use it as much as you can. You're welcome to share this video or put your own spin on what your best streaming techniques are for the PlayStation 4. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Dow Phoenix, and peace. Oh, wait. That's the highest supposed to end the videos. Dow Phoenix out.